Hi there, it's Ms. Novakowski coming to you from the studio at Grower Elementary in the Richmond School District. The math game I'm going to share with you in this video is a game called How Low Can You Go? And it's adapted from a book called Math Fact Fluency. For this game, you need three or four players, so yourself plus two or three others, and you need some cards from a regular deck of cards. You're going to take out the queens and the kings, and you're gonna take out the sixes, sevens, eights, and nines, which leaves you with all the aces, which equal one, the twos, the threes, the fours, the fives, and the tens, and then the jacks, which in this game, the jacks will equal zero. And this uh, game focuses on multiplying, and so each player will have six cards, and so they'll have pairs of cards, so three pairs of two, which makes the six cards, and they'll be multiplying those together to tr try and create the lowest sum of products that they can in their hand. For the game, how low can you go? You need three or four players. So I've got two partners here plus myself, so that's three players. And you need some playing cards. So you need ace through five, all the aces, twos, threes, fours, and fives, and aces equals one. You need all the tens, and you need all the jacks, and the jack is equal to zero. So you get all of those together into a deck, and you shuffle those so that they're mixed up and then I'll show you how to deal out the cards. So you deal out six cards to each player. One, two, three, there, and then two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 six, six, six. And then you take the rest of the deck and just put it here and then turn the top card over and put it beside it there. So this game focuses on multiplication and you have six cards in your hand and you want to get the lowest sum of products possible. So you're gonna have pairs of cards. So two and two, two cards, two cards and two cards. So three pairs and you multiply the pairs. So three times three would be nine, jack times four. Now jack is zero times four, so that would be zero. And then jack times three would be zero. So you know what? It's great to have the jacks because remember we want to get as low as possible. And then, so my score would be zero plus zero is nine. That's a pretty low score. But how could I make it lower? I could get, choose a zero or a one or a two from the deck. But my partners are going to be thinking the same thing. We don't see what each other has in our hands. And we have to sort of think about strategy, what cards could come up and which ones we keep and which ones we're going to try and discard. Okay, so each player takes a turn. And again, we've seen my cards and I've kind of paired them up. And I've got the three times three again. So I can either pass, I can take this two and put a three down or I could take a new card. Well, two is lower than three, so I'm gonna take that. And then that makes this product two times three, two times three is six, which is lower than nine. So that's my turn. And now, next player. Again, we'll look at what they've got. Ooh, they've got a 10. So I think I might wanna discard that one. So I could do one times four, one times five. And I think I'm going to take the three and put down the 10. So you always have to have six cards in your hand and you're trying to get as low as possible. And then my last partner here looks at theirs, what they've got at zero, so I'm gonna multiply that by the five, because five is my highest card here, so that makes that zero. One times three and one times two. Okay, well, that's already pretty low. I don't wanna take the 10, because that would make it higher. And I don't know what that one is, so I'm not gonna take a chance. I'm not gonna do anything on this one. I'm gonna pass. So that was one round. We each had a turn, and you do that for three rounds. So I'll do it again. I'm, hmm, again, I don't know if I can get much lower, but I'll take a chance. I'm going to uh, put the three down, and I'm gonna choose a card here. Oh, I got a five, so it went higher. Hmm, that wasn't so good. Okay, now my partner, what are they gonna do? 
Again, I think that's right. Oh, I could take the three and get rid of that five. Okay. And again, this partner, pretty happy with what they've got. So they're going to pass and just hold on to what they have. And then one more round. You could also play it so that a player can't just pass and hold on to their cards, that they have to either take this one or that one. Again, you would have to decide with your the people that you're playing with before you start the game what rules you wanted to play by. So once you've done three rounds, you remove that extra deck of cards there, and each player turns over their cards and explains what their different products are. So again, for mine, because I've got the two jacks, I'm going to multiply those by zero. Now I'm going to move the five because five is, is my largest one, and I'm going to replace it with the smaller three over here. So zero and zero. So my final score is just six. And my partner here has got ace and four, ace and four. Well, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. So four and four and three times three is nine. So that's 17. And this partner here, again, jack times five is zero. Three times one is three. And then two times one is two. So three and two is five. So they actually have the least. They have less than my six. So this player here is the winner of this game.